Hi, am I on the air? Yep. Fuck. Thanks. Do I have everybody's attention now? Do I have everybody's attention now? Don, I got you. Don, Do I have everybody's Sunday attention night. now? You put them cameras on me, then you must be willing to get that heart touched. This a must see feeling. The news ain't good, then it must be villain. So I say it's that grounded. I don't trust these feelings. Spread across your nose, and I'm on your air. Highest next on the cloud. Am I in the air? Sunday nights, round time. I flex my better Voltron. Transform to DX Don. Mega and unseen. You probably think I'm nice, cause I slow like a stream to your wireless device and the smoke full of steam. On any given night, how short like a piece of any given slice. Uh, and for the latest and what is best about I tune in and tune the rest out, Don. You gotta tell them, am I in the clear? Is this thing gone? Am I on the air? On the air. Well, what is going down, everybody? Welcome back to another brand new edition of Am I on the Air? You know what it is. Your one-stop shop for all your entertainment news, TV and movies galore. Right here, Am I on the Air? I'm your host, Don Mega. And tonight, Season 13, Episode 11. Tonight's show is titled, Justice Has a Number. So welcome to the show, uh, if you're new to Am I on the Air, this is where you come once a week to get the latest and the greatest in entertainment news. Break it all down for you in the world of television and movies, casting news, you know, renewals, cancellations, just what's hot, what's not. I bring it all to you here in that weekly dose. So without any further ado, uh, once again, quick plug note, Red Dragons Assemble. If you haven't checked out Magnificent Memories, go check out our newest edition of Red Dragons Assemble. It's available on reddragonsradio.com and, of course, iTunes and Stitcher and Google, Google Music Play. Check out that latest episode of Red Dragons Assemble. You will not regret it. So, over here tonight, we're going to talk a lot of different news that's popped up and talk about some of the new television programs, you know, it's it's the new fall season, man, the shows are coming back, new shows are debuting, we're going to talk about some of those, um, and of course our movie review of the week is The Magnificent Seven, so let's dive right into it with our movie review of the week. Like I said, The Magnificent Seven, directed by Antoine Fuqua, who of course did Training Day, and he did last year, or was it last year? Maybe it's two years ago now at this point, I think it was about last year, uh, did The Equalizer, so, you know, definitely loves working with Denzel Washington. Um, I think we're going to talk a little bit of news about them later on in the show. Um, I'll give you a spoiler alert, Equalizer 2, <laughs> and... Uh, you know, so they wanted to do this remake here. The Magnificent Seven uh, brought in Denzel. You got Chris Pratt up in here. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, Ethan Hawke, um, Storm Shadow from the G.I. Joe series. Uh, a really great lineup. And, um, you know, it's a good old vengeance tale. And I'll tell you, I hate westerns. I hate them with a passion. I just think they're so boring and there's not really any westerns out there that have ever really grabbed my attention. Uh, growing up, the only one that snagged my attention was Young Guns 2. <laughs> so, you know, it's probably mainly due to the John Bon Jovi soundtrack. Uh, Blaze of Glory, baby. <laughs> and um, so, you know, I hesitate when it comes to westerns. But from the very first trailer that dropped for this thing, I was like, this looks pretty damn awesome. And I'll tell you what. It was pretty damn awesome. I really enjoyed it uh, a lot. And way more than I ever thought I would. Um, the cast was great. There was humor to it. There was amazing action. And um, it told a really good story. And it you know it, it kept me intrigued. Uh, all the way up to the end with an ending that I didn't see coming. And uh, you know so I won't spoil anything for you. If you've seen the original movie you kind of have an idea. But I honestly never even saw the original Because once again, I don't like remake I don't like westerns 
I was intrigued to this movie because of Anton Fuqua, because of the cast that was in there, especially Chris Pratt, Denzel, you know, Vincent D'Onofrio, Ethan Hawke, all those guys. I mean, it definitely had me intrigued just because of the, of the cast. I thought they did an excellent job with this. It's the number one movie in America and rightly deserved. So I'm going to give Magnificent Seven four out of five stars. Awesome movie. Go check it out. So before I jump into the news, let's talk a little bit about the new TV seasons. Um, you know, last week, not everything came back, but we had the season three premiere of Gotham, which I haven't checked out yet, but season two was really good. So I have big, big expectations for season three. Uh, the voice came back. Um, you know, we saw Big Bang Theory return, Modern Family, Blackish, The Goldbergs, um, Hawaii Five O, Shark Tank. Um, some really good season premieres last week. Brooklyn Nine Nine was incredible, super funny. Uh, so some really good stuff came back last week, and then we also had some new shows. So every year I do my due diligence. Oh. Before we talk about new shows, how could I forget Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. returned with an amazing season premiere episode. Hello, Ghost Rider, and welcome to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. They did an excellent job with Ghost Rider. It was an awesome season premiere, and I can't wait for the next episode tomorrow night. Um, But yes, going to new shows. Uh, First, last Monday, we had the new comedy from Kevin James, Kevin Can Wait. I really enjoyed it. Thought it was super funny. Um, some of the criticism I've heard is that people say, oh, it's too much like King of Queens. Well, you know what? I love King of Queens, so I have no problem with this show resembling King of Queens <laughs> whatsoever. Especially Kevin James, man. I, what I loved about King of Queens was his delivery of comedy, and he does it so well. And you know what? Yes, it definitely reminded me a lot of King Queens, but that doesn't bother me at all. I love that show so much that it just made me enjoy Kevin Can Wait right out the gate. You know, very much so. So I really, really liked it. And uh, there's a new episode coming on tonight very soon. Um, And I can't wait to see the next episode of it. We... um, Also had the new premiere of Lethal Weapon... Which I know, you know, a lot of people were kind of poo-pooing on Just because they don't like movies turned into TV shows But once again, I gotta tell you, I call it like I see it I really liked The Lethal Weapon, I liked it a lot Um, Damon Wayans is great as Murtaugh The guy that plays Riggs is awesome The show has a great action sense to it And then also has, you know, some, just some great humor to it Um, I just thought they killed it in the pilot I really, really enjoyed it uh, another new show I checked out was Bull. Bull is on CBS, and um, it's kind of loosely based on Dr. Phil's early life, where basically he's uh, main character played by Michael Weatherly is um, he judges jury panels. He can kind of predict like who do you want on a on a jury panel and help you know to help the prosecution win a case in court. And um, it's a very intriguing show. And I really dug the pilot of it So we'll definitely be keeping up with some more bull Um, Another new comedy was The Good Place Starring Kristen Bell um, Ted Danson where she dies And she goes to heaven which is called The Good Place Everything's awesome there But the thing is is Kristen Bell should not be in heaven She should have gone to hell And they accidentally sent her to heaven And she doesn't know why she's there And she's actually turning heaven into a really weird place Because she's not supposed to be there I really dug this one too I thought it was super funny And I'll be giving this one some more uh, chances You know, funny thing is They showed three episodes of this last week And I loved all three of them So definitely a really good good one Uh, Another new comedy was Speechless um, Which is based on a family dealing with special needs Uh, It was pretty cute too I'm not 100% sold on it um, But it was better than I thought it would be Based off the commercial Uh, My wife is a special needs teacher So I actually wasn't even going to watch this one um, But she was really intrigued in it And we watched it together And I ended up liking it So we'll, we'll continue on this one Another new show That came out And was getting really rave reviews was the highest rated new show on NBC But I honestly didn't really care to watch it I was like, nah, I'm good But the more I kept reading articles about it I was like, maybe I should check this out You know, I am a reviewer I try to present it all to you guys here 
And this is the show called This Is Us Over on NBC And um, like I said I was hesitant on it And then my wife said We should probably check that one out I keep reading good things about it And I said you know I have been too But the commercial just hasn't really sold me Um, But we watched it We watched the pilot over the weekend And once again I loved it Um, I'm glad I gave this one a chance Because I was like oh whatever Based off the commercials but this show was amazing It was I don't want to say it was my favorite out of the new bunch But it had me intrigued more Like I, I actually paid attention to this one I sat my phone down I sat my tablet down, my laptop And I actually paid attention to this pilot And it was really, really good And there's a big twist that happens at the end And when, it, and when the twist happens And you realize it Me and my wife kind of popped up off our seats And we were like, oh <gasps> Oh my god, look at what's happening <laughs> And it was really cool It was an awesome twist And it was an awesome payoff And it makes me even more excited to watch The next couple episodes So This Is Us is definitely on our list now Um Is that all of them? I'm trying to remember because I'm going off the top of my head here There was a lot of new stuff to check out Um we also had the returning episodes of uh, last night, actually, of The Last Man on Earth, which was awesome. The season premiere of um, Family Guy, which was really cool. Son of Zorn is a new show that's been pretty damn funny. Um, most of these shows are also available on Hulu, by the way. So if you don't have cable or you missed it and didn't DVR it, don't have on demand, Hulu, man, sign up for Hulu. If you need a two week subscription, hit me up. I'll give you a link. And, uh,. But really good stuff there all the way around um, I think that they're really hitting it out the park With these new shows this season There's still more to come They actually have spread out the shows very much so um, Much more than the other seasons have um, You know, other shows are coming back this week And then other shows are coming back next week Everything's very spread out from new shows to returning things Like we all love The Flash and Arrow and Legend of Tomorrow That's still not even till next week You know, I'm waiting for Fresh Off the Boat to return A couple other things So, you know, we still have more stuff to look forward to But I thought we got off to a great kickoff of the new season With Kevin Can Wait, The Good Place, Speechless um, This Is Us, Lethal Weapon, Bull um, all very, very good shows And my boy Friggins, he just checked out the new Exorcist TV show And he said it was really, really good as well um, I didn't have a chance Oh, that reminds me, another new show I checked out, MacGyver I really liked MacGyver also So, you know, so there's a lot of good stuff here I kind of want to see Exorcist, but I kind of don't I don't, um, I'm a little torn If I see that Fox picks it up for a full season, then I'll check it out But other than that yeah, <laughs> so we'll see. But like I said, my boy Friggins, he did really like it, so I'll give that a shout out right there. Lots of great shows on. Definitely um, give some of them a chance. Why don't you? Before everything gets canceled because you guys don't watch stuff. But I'll tell you, out of the ratings wise, Bull and This Is Us are the two biggest rated dramas that have come out, and The Good Place and Kevin Can Wait are the two biggest um, comedies that have come out. So congratulations to them. Alright, so let's get into the news And first I want to start out with um, the Emmys The Emmys were last weekend They actually got re uh, broadcast right after I did last week's show So I didn't get a chance to go through it So I'm going to go through the main winners here real quick um, Louis Anderson won for Best Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series for Baskets um, Master of None, the awesome show that's on Netflix with Aziz Ansari Won for Outstanding Writing for a Comedy Series SNL's Kate McKinnon took home the Emmy for Outstanding Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series for a Saturday Night Live. Um, Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series went to Julian, uh, Julia Louis Dreyfus, of course, for Veep, which I believe she um, she's won five in a row. No, uh, no one else has ever done that before. So congratulations to her. Jeffrey Tambor won again for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series for Transparent. The Voice won for Best Outstanding Reality Competition Series uh, The People vs. O.J. Simpson won for out Outstanding Writing for a Limited Series Movie or Dramatic Special uh, American Crimes Regina King won the Outstanding Supporting Actress for a Limited Series or Movie uh, Sterling um, 
Sterling K. Um, Robinson He won for Outstanding Supporting Actor In limited series or movie For People vs. O.J. Simpson By the way, he's in This Is Us And he's really awesome in that as well uh, The Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress In a limited series or movie Is Sarah Paulson For The People vs. O.J. Simpson Also for The People vs. O.J. Simpson Courtney B. Vance won for Outstanding Lead Actor In a limited series Sherlock over on PBS with Benedict Cumberbatch. He won. Uh, they won the Emmy for outstanding television movie. Uh, People vs. O.J. Simpson won for best limited series at the 2016 Emmys. Uh, Pat Oswalt won the Emmy for his uh, stand-up taking uh, talking for clapping. Uh, Last week tonight won for outstanding variety talk series. Key and Peele, my boys, Key and Peele, they won uh, for outstanding variety sketch series. Outstanding uh, supporting actress in a drama series went to Maggie Smith. Bloodlines Ben Mendelsohn won the Emmy for outstanding supporting actor in a drama. Uh, Mr. Robot star Mr. Rami Malek he won his first Emmy for outstanding lead actor in a drama series. Uh, Veep won for outstanding comedy series overall. Uh, Tatiana Maslany won her first Emmy for Orphan Black. Um, Game of Thrones won outstanding drama series, and uh, of course we have your full list up. Of all of the Emmy winners It was a really good broadcast Jimmy Kimmel did a great job hosting um, So that's awesome right there So check out the complete list to know Who all took home the Emmy Alright let's see what else we got here Spawn Yes Spawn's back in the news The creator of Spawn Has promised once again That we're going to get a dark Rated R Scary badass adaptation of Spawn I love the sound of this I hope we do But I'm not holding my breath once again Because he's been promising us this For the last decade Let's get going Give me some damn Spawn And let's rock and roll about it Alright So let's see um, We have the new uh, Season 2 trailer for Supergirl Which you can check out right now A couple new trailers for Westworld The new show coming to HBO Actually debuts next weekend Hearing lots of great things about it The new season 5 trailer For Arrow (coughs) Excuse me Um, Kevin Smith says he's still working on The Mallrats TV series Um, Saying that's still something Coming soon so Hang tight on that one Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. bosses tease a grittier and sexier season 4 Seems like they're off to that start, that's for damn sure Uh, The Invitation director, Karen Kusama Is going to helm a new movie called The Breed For 20th Century Fox Jamie Dornan has joined Robin Hood Origins Um, He is set to play Will Scarlet In Lionsgate's new Robin Hood Origins Opposite Taron Egerton uh, and Jamie Foxx So there you go uh, Taylor Russell has just been signed on To uh, play in the new Lost in Space That Netflix is doing We have the new trailer for Flock of Dudes Starring Chris Delila. The trailer for The Whole Truth Starring Keanu Reeves uh, The trailer for Mean Dreams Starring Bill Paxton And we finally got the first official trailer for Passengers The new sci-fi movie starring Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Pratt Um, I really liked the Passengers trailer Uh, I thought it was really, really good And it makes me very excited uh, for this movie Which comes out on Christmas Uh, So it looks really, really good Definitely check out this trailer if you haven't seen it yet I really, really liked it Um We have the first set photo from Jumanji Yes, they're filming the sequel to Jumanji The Rock, Kevin Hart, Karen Gillan And Jack Black Are all on set filming And they took a really cool group group photo together So definitely check that one out Uh, Netflix's Skylanders Academy series Is set to premiere this October So brand new animated series Coming to Netflix Um, Which is pretty cool there Um, And some sad news Brangelina is separating Yes, Angelina Jolie Pitt Has filed for divorce from Brad Pitt Um, you know It's sad This was a couple I thought was gonna make it They adopted a bunch of kids They had kids of their own And unfortunately we still didn't make it Um, 
So, well, you know, they just want everybody to respect their privacy and let's give them that. We have a new Luke Cage feature rate, uh, featurette called Who is Luke Cage? You can check that one out. Luke Cage, by the way, debuting all episodes this Friday on Netflix. There's a new uh, Andy Warhol biopic film that's going to be, um, <clears throat> That's going to be coming out here soon And Jared Leto Yes the Joker himself is going to play Andy Warhol This totally makes sense It's totally going to work (laughs) So very cool on there Um, That Skylanders Academy animated series Coming to Netflix The official date for that one is October 28th By the way for all you kiddies out there Looking for that American Horror Story Roanoke Which is the new season 6 It premiered among the most watched in FX network history This seems to happen every year When a new American Horror Story comes out So congratulations to them that they can keep up in the ante Every year and putting out some really cool stuff This new season is off to a great start There are only two episodes in But I like it so far um, We have your first trailer for Ice Cube And Charlie Day's new movie The R-rated Fist Fight uh, I really like this trailer Some people are hating on it But I think it looks really funny And uh, I want to see Ice Cube kick Charlie Day's ass That sounds really cool to me So hell yeah, let's do it Fist Fight comes out in February Toby Stevens um, and Maxwell Jenkins Have joined Netflix's Lost in Space remake They keep adding all these actors And I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody But I don't know anybody they're signing up for this Lost in Space show <laughs> So hopefully it's good though I am intrigued in a new Lost in Space Charlie Sheen is set to star in Crackle's new original film called Mad Families FX has renewed the shows Atlanta and Better Things for season 2 So that's pretty cool that they did that one pretty quick there for both of those shows I actually have not checked out either of the two but I'm hearing nothing but great things So good to see FX jump on that one Uh, Kate Beckinsdale has joined the new movie Only Living Boy in New York um, which is Mark Webb's new uh, film that he's doing Leah Remini is developing a Scientology series over at A&E uh, Star Trek Beyond is coming to Blu-ray in November We have the new Honest trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows We have Everything Wrong with Shrek in 13 Minutes or Less uh, Mark Wahlberg says that he's working on a movie with LeBron James And it's not Space Jam 2 So we'll see what basketball project They are working on together We have the new trailer for Smurfs The Lost Village This is the new Smurfs movie that's going to be 100% animated They are not doing the live action mix on this one Um, We have the new trailer for season 5 Of the Mindy Project that you can check out Um, Fuller House season 2 Is coming out here Um Before the end of the year Let me see the exact date here Because I know people will be going nuts For some Fuller House 2 man I never even finished Fuller House Season 1 But Season 2 will hit Netflix On December 9th So they really fast tracked the hell out of that thing Good, Good for them That's awesome December 9th there guys Netflix will be hitting it up uh, also joining Hairspray Live in December is going to be Billy Eichner. You know Billy from Billy on the Street. Billy on the Street. He's making dreams come true. Billy on the Street. Uh, Billy Eichner uh, for a dollar. Um, now I really like Billy on the Street. He's a cocky, crazy son of a bitch. But um, you know, hey. He's joining Hairspray Live, which my wife's really looking forward to, but she hates Billy Eichner, so I couldn't wait to share this news with her. She was thrilled. <laughs> so, <laughs> makes me laugh. Uh, Dark Tower. Yes, the Dark Tower. They're making the movie right now. You know, Idris Elba, um, Matthew McConaughey. There was a lot of details about a year ago that said they were going to do a TV show with it, and now those that's news is coming back, and they're saying they are going going to do the TV show still, which is gonna kind of be based as a prequel to the movie. Uh, the big news here is that Idris Elba, they said he will reprise his role in the TV series, which I think is phenomenal because I don't know how you do a TV series for this after the movie. And not get your main characters back So the fact that Idris Elba is going to commit to this And come back on the on the TV side Very very cool So that is awesome right there That they are going to do that We have the new Red Band trailer For Bad Santa 2 
there's going to be a new Elvis biopic film that will be filmed over at Graceland, um, and um, it's going to be the first ever Elvis Presley biopic film allowed to be shot at Graceland. So that's pretty awesome. There, we have the whole list of all the movies coming to HBO in October. So if you're looking for some of your favorites, like Deadpool is coming and um, By the Sea, of course, with uh, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, coming to HBO. Um, we have the new John Wick 2 Chapter 2 poster Which looks awesome by the way um, I really really like this poster It doesn't really do much But it just screams John Wick To me for some reason um, CBS has ordered a new show st- Starring Judd Hirsch and Jermaine Fowler Called Superior Donuts Okay Rooney Mara is set to star in a new pop pop music drama uh, called Von Lux, and it'll feature original music done by Sia. So very cool there. Um, Battle Angel, yes, um, they're getting ready to make Battle Angel. Robert Rodriguez is going to direct, and he's just cast Ed Screen as the big bad guy. You know him, of course, as Ajax from the Deadpool movie. He's going to be the bad guy in Alita Battle Angel. Very cool. We have the new Power Ranger reboot um, character posters, and the cool thing about these character posters is that they all seem to be sitting on their Zords, and these Zords look, you only see little pieces of them, but they look pretty damn cool, and they also look gigantic, Um, so... I want to see the full picture of these Zords, man. How big are these things going to be? This is, I'm getting pretty psyched up for the Power Rangers reboot, gotta say. Uh, DreamWorks has canceled their new horror movie called Haunted five weeks before it starts filming. Um, they had to cut it as they fired the director. It was a little $17 million horror movie called Haunted, and it was going to start shooting in five weeks. And they pulled the plug because uh, Steven Spielberg was going to be an executive producer on this. They hired this director. He came in. He rewrote the whole script. He retitled the movie. And when he turned in the, the new script, Steven Spielberg and everybody else at DreamWorks looked at it and said, um, this isn't the movie we asked you to make. And the director was just kind of like, well, I took my own spin on it. And they said, you can spin your ass on home because we ain't making this movie no more. <laughs> so, yeah, so the movie's been canceled. Um, let's see what else we got here. GSN's show Elevator is returning for a second season starring the Soska sisters who are great horror tacticians. Um, so that's cool that it's returning in October to the Game Show Network. Um, sorry, just going through some of the stuff here that's not relevant anymore. Or stuff we've talked about already. Um, actress Jing Tian Drift. Jing Tian Drift is signed up to participate in Pacific Rim 2. She's been added to the cast. She's going to star in the upcoming Great Wall with Matt Damon. She was also in Kong Skull Island, and she's going to be joining Pacific Rim 2. Uh, Marlon Wayans and Regina Hall are set to star in a new Netflix series called Naked, which sounds pretty funny, so check that one out. Um, We have the official teaser trailer for Ghost in the Shell. Which is uh, pretty cool here It's a very very short trailer Um, They actually released these In like these little like five different Little ten second kind of teasers Um, And then somebody spliced them All together and made the official teaser Out of all of those and you get a little Taste of the movie and when I say little I mean It's a little taste that's all it is Uh, We also have the little teaser Trailer for Freakish it's a new uh, Hulu original series that starts streaming On October 10th Um and I know nothing about this, but I'm intrigued just by this little teaser here. Um, a new big screen adaptation of Stephen King's Hearts in Atlantis is in the works. So we'll see what ends up happening with that one. Um, Shark Tank, one of the big changes in this new season is that they're doing six sharks. This season they usually only do five And they kind of rotate out that fifth spot But this time we're going six deep On the new Shark Tank I love Shark Tank by the way I was so happy to see the season premiere this past Friday So um Yeah hey six sharks let's do it 
We have everything coming and going to Netflix in October, so check that one out. We have the full article up with Thomas Gibson speaking out about the um, incident that got him fired off Criminal Minds, so if you're interested in that, you can check that out. Chris Pratt says that the Passengers script was maybe the best script I had ever read, quote, Wow, that's pretty awesome right there So I'm getting really stoked for Passengers We have the new trailer for Sci-Fi's show Incorporated Which is executive produced by Ben Affleck And Matt Damon You can check that out, the series premieres on November 30th Um, Henry Cavill welcomes some Make-A-Wish kids to the set of the Justice League Which is awesome, I love seeing these Little kids get to pose with Superman Really makes me happy because they, you know There is a Superman out there That they get to enjoy, thanks Henry Cavill For being cool and granting Those Make-A-Wishes ABC is developing A Magnum P.I. reboot And it's going to actually be A sequel to the original 1980s CBS classic uh, This time it will revolve around Magnum P.I.'s daughter, Lily Yes, it will focus on his daughter Basically picking up the mantle And becoming the P.I. of her own um, So very cool I hope they get Tom Selleck to pop in and out of this thing That would be incredible I really, really do I just wish my mom was around to talk about this news Because this made me really think of her uh, this past week when it came out Tom Selleck was her favorite I miss you mom um, We got a pretty cool article up Talking about how American Horror Story Roanoke is directly connected To Freak Show uh, At least one of the characters is So you can read that I won't spoil it for anybody who doesn't want to know um, Simpsons Marathon Going to run on FXX They're gonna, It's going to run for 13 days As they run all 600 episodes Of The Simpsons That is crazy Going back to the Power Rangers movie Alpha 5, remember him, the little robot aye, aye, aye. Um, It's going to be in the movie And it's going to be voiced by Bill Hader So I can't wait to see what the new version of Alpha 5 Is going to be I don't really think he's going to be all like aye, aye, Rangers, Rangers um, <laughs> you know, I I have a feeling it's not going to be that um, But it's cool to see Alpha 5 in some incarnation is going to be included And Bill Hader is definitely a great voice to pick up on that one uh, The new movie Rings, remember that? The sequel to uh, the other two Rings movies Watch the videotape, you die in seven days um, The new version, the new movie was coming out literally next month we're only we're under a month away from this movie coming out. Well, the studio has just pushed it back till February of 2017. So, no reason why they did not explain. They just said the movie's been pushed back to February. So, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for Rings. We have the new trailer for Trespass Against Us starring Michael Fassbender. Suicide Squad star Margot Robbie, of course, Harley Quinn in my heart, is, is all set to host the season premiere of Saturday Night Live, which will air this Saturday. So that's going to be pretty awesome there. Good going, Margot Robbie. Um, I told you earlier that I had some Antoine Fuqua, uh, Denzel Washington news. I guess I kind of spoiled it already, but yes, it is official. Equalizer 2 is moving forward And uh, the team is reuniting The funny news about this Is that this is the first sequel That Denzel Washington has ever done Wrap your head around that one Pretty crazy in a world of sequels That this is his first So very very cool there um, I didn't really care honestly though About the first Equalizer movie But I'm sure I'll be there to watch the second one When it comes out Actor Levi Meaden has joined Pacific Rim 2 So he's the latest name to join that um, <laughs> New Friday the 13th has been delayed yet again The new Friday the 13th was supposed to come out early next year And uh, yep, they're not ready yet <laughs> So now Jason has gone to developmental hell uh, As the Friday the 13th movie has been delayed indefinitely So no new release date listed yet Pretty sad, man. I don't know how hard it is to make a damn Jason movie, but I guess they're having that issue now. Uh, we got everything coming and going to Stars uh, on the Stars app in October, so you can check that out, including Ash vs. the Evil Dead coming. Can't wait to see that. Taboo Season 1, a new Tom Hardy show that's coming to FX, gets its first um, teaser trailer, so definitely check that out. We have also have everything coming and going to Amazon Prime in October. 
Stephen King's It remake has wrapped production So getting into the final stages there for It The new Doctor Who spinoff finally has a release date And we'll talk about that here in just a second uh, It is called Class And it will debut on October 22nd The current Doctor himself, Peter Capaldi Will appear as the Doctor on the show's season premiere we have all the different details on the Call of Duty Infinite Warfare multiplayer beta. Uh, it's weekend one starts on October 14th and ends October 17th, and uh, that's only on the PS4. Weekend two will be the PS4 and Xbox One, which will run on 1021 to 1024. Uh, Ride with Norman Reedus has season two has been greenlit by AMC. The Freeform channel has greenlit a new late night series hosted by uh, Liza Schleisinger, the you know the stand up comedian chick. She's pretty funny. Whoopi Goldberg says that this is probably her last season on The View. For anybody that cares, still, Jake Gyllenhaal and Carrie Mulligan are joining Paul Dano's new film Wildlife. The Backstreet Boys have announced a Las Vegas residency that's going to kick off in March of 2017. They're coming to Planet Hollywood. So if you're interested, that's where they'll be for a couple months in 2017. New Line Cinema is taking uh, the Fruit Ninja movie rights. Yes, they have purchased it. And I guess we might be getting a Fruit Ninja movie. Uh, You know, for an app where all you literally do is slice fruit with your finger. Of course someone's going to make a movie out of it because why not, right? Um, Arrival cinematographer Bradford Young Is set to shoot the Han Solo prequel So that's pretty cool there uh, Snapshot 1988 uh, Universal Pictures has, has bought the rights to it And they are going to adapt the Joe Hill novella um, We have the new season 3 trailer for The Flash Shark Tank is going to exceed $100 million in deals this season That's just a pretty cool piece of news I just wanted to throw out there because that's pretty cool Um, Transformers The Last Night production Sparked some controversy As uh, there's some Nazi flags up But Michael Bay says don't you fret Because the Nazis are going to get their ass kicked So are we going to get Optimus Prime Versus Hitler? I don't know (laughs) But they're doing some crazy stuff For this 5th Transformers We're just going to have to wait and see LeBron James is developing a new television series Called There Goes the Neighborhood uh, NBC has ordered nine more episodes of Superstore So that's pretty cool I like Superstore Actually it's a fun show that the whole family can enjoy uh, My stepdaughter likes it My wife likes it I like it um, So it's one of the rare shows Where we can all sit down and just enjoy a little comedy sitcom So glad to see it's doing really well on NBC And that they're ordering nine more episodes of it Um, Let's see here Hugo Weaving looks back at his time as the Red Skull um, you know, it, he used to always say he never wanted to come back and do Red Skull. Now he's kind of singing a little bit of a different tune, although he says he doesn't think they're going to use him anytime soon. Um, but he says he wouldn't be totally opposed to it either. So that's cool. He's kind of changed his tune a little bit. <clears throat> uh, Family Guy season 15 is going to include a Doctor Who parody called Doctor Who Farted, which will star David Tennant. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, so funny. Um, Sam Neill, yes, from Jurassic Park era. Uh, he's just been added to the Thor Ragnarok cast, so that's pretty cool. Congratulations to Sam Neill joining Thor Ragnarok. Although his who he's playing is being kept under wraps. Uh, let's see here. Dun, 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 dun. The MacGyver reboot beat The Exorcist in the um, ratings on Friday night. So, um, you know, good for MacGyver, not so good for Exorcist. Um, the uh, Dark Tower TV series um, that Idris Elba is going to appear in, it looks like they are adapting the book Wizard and Glass. Just so you know, in case you're into the books, you'll know which story they're adapting. They're going with Wizard and Glass. 
Um, hmm. Oh, another new show that returned that was awesome this week was Lucifer. Yes, Lucifer's back. Um, great season premiere episode. Really, really like it over on Fox. So if you haven't been watching Lucifer, definitely check that one out. Um. Matt LeBlanc will officially be back for the next two years of Top Gear. There were negotiations for that, and he signed up to uh, extend his reign. A brand new trailer for Luke Cage debuted today. Like I said, the show starts on Friday, so check out the new trailer that dropped for Luke Cage. Um, James Gordon, Rose Byrne, Daisy Ridley, and Elizabeth Debicki are confirmed for the Peter Rabbit movie. Yes, they're making a Peter Rabbit movie based on the books. And uh, it's pretty good casting that they got going there Rooney Mara says she wants to return as Elizabeth Slander In the Girl in the Dragon Tattoo books uh, Into the movies But she's not holding out hope (laughs) Yeah, it doesn't look like those sequels are moving forward But I'm glad to hear that she does want to return for it Uh, Stan Lee Marvel has confirmed that Stan Lee has already filmed his next four cameos Uh, Kevin Feige, president of uh, Marvel Said that they're not just four random cameos either He says they were all very specifically planned And filmed out for him to do in one day So what four movies are for, we were not told Um, But he did do four in one day Which I thought was pretty cool Just to kind of get them done and out the way Going back to Sam Neill We just talked about him joining Thor Ragnarok Um, He says don't expect his character Alan Grant To be in the next Jurassic World sequel Um, So... That kind of sucks I would like to see him return Honestly um, The Autopsy of Jane Doe We have that trailer It's a um, horror movie Starring Emile Hirsch Coming out soon Time Warner CEO When asked When's the solo Batman movie Coming out He was quoted as saying Yeah I think it's about A year and a half out So um, That's cool The only problem is Is does he mean They're going to start filming In a year and a half Or does the movie Actually come out In a year and a half Because that's what I'm curious about You know so we'll see We'll see uh, The Simpsons 28th premiere Which happened last night Beats nearly everything in the ratings from Sunday It dominated the ratings that night So congratulations to uh, Simpsons Which somehow is pulling off The miracle of just being the most dominant show Like ever on television uh, The Mythbusters spinoff uh, Nerdist s- Gets Nerdist science editor Science Phil <laughs> As host, I don't know, sorry I might have just butchered that But yeah, we have the new trailer for King Cobra Lionsgate says more Twilight sequels may be on the way Nothing confirmed yet, but they are looking to go back to this world And they're looking to see if Stephanie Meyer, the director of the book Or the director, the writer of the books If she wants any, to tell any more stories in this world um, It's official, a special Will and Grace reunion show is being confirmed so that's pretty cool for anybody that was into that show um, MacGruber 2 looks like it's moving forward As Will Forte and the writer-director Jorma Tacone Have uh, confirmed that they are writing the script right now And trying to put it together So looking forward Maybe with the re- revival of M- MacGyver on television We can get some more interest in MacGruber <laughs> Um, and some sad news Naomi Watson and Leif Schreiber split after 11 years together So you know we're dealing with Brad and Angelina And now I get Leif Schreiber and Naomi Watts After 11 years man Sad doesn't anybody get to stay together anymore Martin Scorsese's new film Silence Has just been given a December 23rd Release date so that's pretty cool Definitely popping in an award season um, And our last piece of news Which I think is kind of big It's a little something we assumed but it makes sense um, It looks like uh, Doctor Strange is going to appear In the next Avengers movie Infinity War Benedict Cumberbatch himself Confirmed that Doctor Strange Will appear in Avengers Infinity War Now I don't know if he was supposed to say that <laughs> And he might be getting shot By the guys at Marvel right now But um, you know He did confirm it So uh I think that's great news I would love to see I, You know what we're supposedly Going to get everybody in Infinity War But it's always nice to see confirmations So thank you Benedict Cumberbatch Alright that is our news for the week Let's head on over to our release dates And wrap this baby up On DVD and Blu-ray Tomorrow is going to be Central Intelligence Warcraft 
The Shallows, Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, and The Neon Demon. So big, big release date tomorrow. I myself have pre-ordered Central Intelligence and Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, two awesome movies that I cannot wait to watch again. So I can't wait to get those on Blu-ray. Warcraft is worth a check out. The Shallows is actually worth a pretty good check out. It was a pretty decent movie too in its own right. So lots of good stuff hitting Blu-ray and DVD this Tuesday. In theaters this Friday is going to be Deepwater Horizon, Masterminds, and Miss Peregrine's Home for the Peculiar Children. Uh, three decent movies here, and I don't know what we're going to see this weekend. I usually do the movies with um, Geeky Pat, and um, we're kind of on the fence here because I want to see Deepwater Horizon. He doesn't really want to see that. He's down to see Masterminds, which I'm down to see too, and that's probably what we'll settle on. Um, we also both kind of want to see Miss Peregrine's um, But I don't know I I really want to see Deepwater Horizon The most out of these three um, But for some reason he doesn't So we'll, we'll have to negotiate on that uh, Weekend box office Coming in number 10 is Kubo and the Two Strings With 1.1 million Number 9 is When the Bow Breaks with 2.5 million Number 8 Suicide Squad with 3.1 million Number 7 is Don't Breathe with 3.8 million Number six is The Blair Witch with four million. Number five is Snowden with four point one million. Number four is Bridget Jones Baby with four point five million. Number three was the number one movie for the last two weeks, but it drops to number three this week. It's Sully with another thirteen point eight million. Coming in number two, it's one of our two big new releases. Number two was Storks, the new animated film Storks. Brings in a very nice twenty one point eight million. And your new number one movie. Is The Magnificent Seven We talked about it 4 out of 5 stars for me The uh, Magnificent Seven Hits number 1 with 35 million dollars um, Very very The studio is very happy with that number It is one of the um, highest um, Money grocers Of westerns Ever um, The Actually the record holder is um, Cowboys and Aliens which I don't even I mean, I guess it fits, but Cowboys and Aliens is the, is the biggest one with 36 million. So this did 35. So it's right there. Um, is one of the biggest grocers ever, uh, for a Western movie. So congratulations to Anton Fuqua and the cast. So there you go. That is your weekend box office. That's what's in theaters and that's what's hitting Blu-ray and DVD on this Tuesday, which is tomorrow, September the 27th. Um, so that'll do it for us here on Am I on the Air? Please bookmark our official webpage is Am I on the Air dot com, and that's where you can go listen to the show, look at movie reviews, box office trailers. It's all right there. Um, you can of course like us on Facebook at facebook dot com slash Am I on the Air. Um, you can like I said Am I on the Air dot com, which is the main hub. Um, you can of course uh, Follow us on Twitter at Am I on the Air Follow me on Twitter at DX Don Mega And um, uh, You can also subscribe to us on iTunes We are available on Stitcher We're available on Google Music Play We're available on Spreaker We're available on YouTube We're available on TuneIn <laughs> So lots of places to find Am I on the Air Just give a little search for us um, YouTube.com slash Am I on the Air And of course follow us on Instagram Just search Am I on the Air And I gotta shout out Our great affiliates at RedDragonsRadio.com Follow on Twitter at RedDragonsRadio And of course like on Facebook uh, Red Dragons Radio is your hub that features this show Red Dragons Assemble uh, Welcome to Banshee This Week with the Geek People's Forum Pro Wrestling Nation Indie Sports Car Podcast You know, a way off topic with Frank and Pez Lots of great shows available right there on reddragonsradio.com So bookmark that and check it out That'll do it for me tonight on this lovely Monday night September the 26th I hope you all have a great week And uh, we'll talk next week and catch up once again in the world of entertainment news And until next time y'all Hey, check out some of those new shows Show some love So until next time y'all Peace Bye, Daddy. Red Dragons! Red Dragons! Red Dragons!